Recording the building of this. And as you can see, there's plenty to do on this. This is just a touch of the, of the manual. This is recommended tools, etc. Oh, by the way, there'll be copyright free music background because I can't stand working in the silence. In here, you get listed all the parts and they're all numbered so you know, to help you identify a little bit of plywood. And we get into uh, the red lines on, you can see there's uh, red lines here. This is where the factory, where, where, where the manufacturers put in folds for you on one side, on, but where you need to f put in a fold on the other side, it's marked in blue, like here. So I'll be doing that first. So after cutting out the main parts, I believe, the first thing to do is put all these folds in a score line so I'll be using probably the rear end of this knife using the rear end so it it puts a score line but doesn't actually cut that's the uh, that's the cunning plan anyway so part one is to uh, Cut out the top deck here and some of the other body parts and put the scores in. And then we'll go on to doing the wings and add in, add in the score. Actually, there's no scores on that. That's manufacturer's scoring. Yeah, the wings, they're already pre-scored. And then we can get on to actually building proper. So, I'll move this out of the way. Could do a little stand for that. And uh, let's get some of these parts out. Excuse the glare. So, it's not that. This is uh, stickers. Help join the uh, wing parts. These are plastic. Very thin plastic. And uh, they basically allow strength and lightweight. And here's, here are the wings. Made of very, I think it's half mil Depron or one mil Depron. And if you look closely, I don't know if it will show up, there is just a little score line that the manufacturer's already put in. And along the fold here, you might be able to get a shade on that. But that's, that's uh, those are the wings. So this is the part I'll be doing first. This part here. <laughs> use this lovely ruler line up on each of the marks in turn best I can all this music is by Epidemic and as Ken Heron says if it's not Epidemic it's crap so I'm just using the back end of the blade and if you can see that a bit better just use the black end of the blade to line up on line them up and then I'm using the back end I'm just lightly scoring I'm not doing really heavy Fear of uh, basically breaking it. Thank <laughs> you. 
on all that side. Right. No scoring on Z10 or Z11. So we cut. We just need. Ah, but I do need to bevel. Shallow bevel. Right, that's why. That's the next bit to do. A shallow bevel on Z10 and 11. And Z11. these out by eye it's actually easier than using the ruler on it. Nice and gentle. And we've got honky tonk now. Do, do, do. I'll change the music in a bit to get it on my nerves. Right. So that's Z11. And this is Z10. As you notice, these are printed both sides. Very beautifully printed. So this is Z10. hardest one because it's on a curve. I think that's it. Right. So Z10 and 11 obviously make up the wings and they're already scored to fold here. Very neat. Already scored and there's a second fold there to produce the aerofoil. So these are going to be full uh, wrap around wings, full wrap around wings with scores and everything. Right, so looking at these, I have to do a, a, a shallow bevel around this section here, the trailing edge of this, and the trailing and the trailing edge of this. Wonderful, more sanded. I think I might change the music because the jazz is getting on my nerves a bit. Should we put some funk on? Hmm, that's nice. I'm liking that already. So while I put shallow bevels on, I'll listen to shallow music. Here they are, P1 and yeah, two P1s. All oh, right, it's two P1s. Okay, so we'll cut that out. Put on the old magnifying glasses again. Not so easy to cut these ones. I think I. We'll use a ruler here. Definitely tougher. I suppose that's what you want. Okay. 
Okay. That's a P1. And then we've got another P1 to cut off. So my, I haven't done my hair this morning, I'm just relax. I'm in relaxing building mode. Cut these tabby bits off. There's two P1s, and now I need the D1, which looks like some sort of central keel. Now that will be on this sort of thicker Depron. The other one's very thin Depron, this is thicker. And this is D1, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely D1. So let's cut through this. This will be easy to cut. Oh, it's almost like foam, this. It might not even be that hot. It could easily be, uh, I don't know, actually. It's got a lot of flexibility, so it's not sure what material that is. I don't know if it says it. Oh, two millimeter depth on foam. I think they're calling it. So these are going to go on the base of this. Yeah, they do over. Okay. And on the other side. So I suppose what I'm going to do is get something to. I don't want to get glue on this. I'm going to get a piece of uh, sacrificial paper. So if I get glue on this, I don't mind. I can just throw it away. First time gluing. I do with a different colour actually. White on white is never good. Right. Won't need much of this. I think the case with all these sort of models is less is more. You don't really want a lot of glue. Because it's going to squidge out anyway, isn't it? Who doesn't love the smell of contact adhesive in the morning? And I think I'll bring in a ah, pair of tweezers just to help put that on because it always will get stuck to my fingers terribly. Right. I see why I say give it time to squidge around. Yes, it's not easy to put on. Oops, it flipped, didn't it? Bit of squidgy room.
Ooh, that's. Ah, I managed to get stickiness on my. On this. I don't want it on on the mat. See if I can help it. It'll just make life difficult. Okay. Well, that one's. Uh, oh, let me turn it up. Okay, that one's set on this side. Now I've got to do the other one, which you may not, may or not be able to see again. It's white on white is the other side. Let's stick some glue on this. That's the only problem with you who pour, is it does take a while to uh, to set enough that you can trust it. I've just dropped something, I don't know what. Oh, I do know what. What's annoying? Right, okay. Let's stick some of this on. It says put a thin layer on, but sometimes it's really difficult to get just thin. Okay. I'm just trying to get an even layer. Even that's quite difficult because you who pour is quite goopy. That is an official word, goopy. It says on the side of the, box, of the uh, tube, it says goopy glue. Okay. Any excess, obviously, I'll wipe off. Right. Let's do this. Where's my little thing? There it is. I'm going to grab this so it doesn't fly everywhere and goes down at least in approximately the right place. <laughs> this plastic's so thin you can actually see the goopiness of the glue through it, which is quite surprising really. I don't mind if it gets a bit messy because this is this is all on the inside of it anyway, so you know, you won't see it. If it's a bit extra goopy, it doesn't really matter. It's all about the strength of it, really. Okay. That's that bit done. That's that bit done, so that's just got to be given a while to set. And in the meantime, the next section is this amazing bit of origami here which I've cut out as this so it looks like this and uh, you've got to follow the folding instructions so start off by folding that back and then folding those in and then folding that down a bit and then gluing them together Let's just do it. The, the little, that one is actually tiny little triangles. Just, just there. Tiny little triangle, just there. So, let's do this. Start off with the top bit and fold these down. Okay, they are, it is grooved allow easy bending so we've got to get that groove on the upside bit otherwise it won't bend properly so glue that that goes down like that and then we then glue push these little tabs back it's big old arrows on for these little tabs, but they're very, very tiny. I don't know how important that little triangle will be. It's, it's a very tiny little triangle. And then it says, oh, I see. So you move, then move these back and you're supposed to glue it to the triangle. There's not much to glue. That's a tiny amount to glue. 
Meanwhile, the music sounds like Shaft or something. What's it called? Get Stanky on it by Peter Crosby. Well, there you go. Get Stanky. Whatever Stanky is. So, those little crosses go up against that. Let's have another little look at this instruction. So, it's expecting you to put a little bit of glue on these little triangles and stick them together. I really don't see how that's going to hold very much, but that's what it calls for. That's what we'll do. I wish I had some toothpicks. Okay, that's a tiny bit on that triangle. Oh, and that's a big old goopy bit on that triangle. I have to wipe some of that off, that's too much. Make sure it's not too much on either. Okay. And then you expect you to stick that to that. That is flipping impossible to get right. I don't see how you can get that right. There's no way that's going to hold anything. I think you're being very, very, very optimistic if you think that's going to make any real difference. It. I mean, come on, that's a tiny amount of glue. Hmm, right, the next thing is to fold these bits back like this. Now that will sandwich that triangle. So that sort of makes sense. You're, you're going to get a bit of a capture there going on. That makes a bit more sense, but I think I'm going to need something to sort of hold them together to make it get a decent, decent connection. Because that is, the plastic wants to pop up. So I think I'm going to need a little bit of, uh, bit of tape there. Spot of the old blue tape, I think. The old painter's tape, as the Americans call it. I don't know what it's called here. Just Scotch blue. But it's really good for this sort of thing because it tends to hold on quite well. It doesn't doesn't lift up like your regular sort of tape, masking tape. And it, but it doesn't lift up uh, paint that well either. So put some glue on here again. It's going to be difficult to do a thin layer, but we'll do our best. So we push that to there, glue on that, let's push it together, get a bit of the old contact adhesive going. I think that would be the better way with this. We're going to need the contact sticky, so we'll leave it a couple of minutes. Now the music sounds a bit like a funky Madonna. Madonna, addicted to your house by To Your Love by House of Stay. Addicted to Your Love by House of Stay. Where do they get these names from? Right, okay. Gonna give that a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes for me, almost instant for you. Okay, I think that's had long enough. Let's try putting this together. So, pushing that against it. Oh, it's sticking a bit. So, what I'm going to use a bit of the tape just to protect it. And then I've gone and picked up a couple of these, a uh, couple of these together. Well, it's that time again. I have to wait for that to set. Problem with these glues, you have to wait for these things to, to happen. Okay, so uh, that's now glued together. This should be glued together. Let's just uh, carefully peel this away. Try not to make it worse by when I peel this off. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, I think we've got that working as we should. Right, so that's that stage is complete. Next is to stick that to that, and then once that's basically down, you sandwich it with this piece on top. Now this this whole bit is a support for the undercarriage. Can you see it like that? So stick that together, and then. I realized I've missed a section. Yeah, I've missed a way round does it go? Right, so this will go, see there's a little step here, that will go there, somehow. And it's got to go all the way down, that's a little bit stiff. Doesn't seem to want to go. Might need a little bit of filing in there, certainly once it's dry to get that. But there's the little step there, and there's a little step there, so it's very clear that it has to go where it has to go. That's pretty good. Right, I'm going to let these bits dry, th dry off properly. And uh, I'm going to do my tea. Catch you up in a bit. Okay, well, this has dried up, up enough for me to carry on. It seems to be coming together quite nicely. Everything seems to be holding together. And this has dried and it's fairly stiff now with the, two, with the plastic shims either side. The next stage is to join this to this and then the stage after that is to sandwich a load of pieces together to make a couple of where well, it looks just like stiffness stroke support so let's get this on which is only a little bit of glue we'll get that going a little bit there, a little bit on the other side, and then I think a little bit just there, right, get the lid on that, it's difficult one handed, and this goes with those supports at the back, it slots in and it's like a double step so it has to go all the way down there we go that went okay I gave it a little file so that lines up there hey we've got a bit of a plane finally got a little bit of a plane going looks like it might be a body right the next bit is you've got these four pieces three of which whoop, stickiness on my fingers three of which are pretty much the same and one back in and you have to make them in mirror in a mirror style with the back in so we'll stick these two lots together and see where we go from there so a little bit of this over here Just a case of pushing them together. I 
think I'll wipe off the excess onto my finger. And once I've got them together, because I'm not using it like a contact adhesive at the moment, I should be able to uh, slide them about a bit and get them equal. Oof, sticky fingers. And of course, the depth one's so light it jumps. Okay. Oh, this is fiddly. The final piece. And like a stack of cards, I'll just try and. I think that rear piece might actually go the other direction. Let's try that that way. Oh, yes, that fits better. Oof. It's like trying to put down sticky tape. That's the wrong way around that one. It's important to make sure the uh, slot is the same all the way down. Messy. Ugh. Right. Let's check that first. Make certain that fits. Yes. Let's see if I can do this one while holding the other. That might work better. Right, so I've got the narrow side to my left here. So this one I want the narrow side to my right. So trying to use as little glue as possible, but it's difficult to do a very tiny amount of glue straight out the tube. Maybe I should use a cotton bud or something. Sorry, I'm out of shot there, aren't I? So I'm just putting the first layer in there. Second layer. A little bit of glue. I don't think you can get do these too neatly at first. Because I mean they're always moving about. But once we've got them all together, you can just shuffle them up like a pack of cards as I said before. And hopefully that'll work. That is not easy. It's not easy to get it neat. That's going to take some drying. But there we are, two of them done. See, it wants to follow you all the time with the stickiness. <laughs> Just trying to put them down is difficult. Okay, things have uh, seem to have set off well enough. These are still drying, but they're they, you, know, you can handle them now. Now these go with the thick end, the thick top. They have to go thick top upwards and slot outwards. So thick up, slot outwards, and they have to go slot forwards. So there's only one way that can go is that way. Thick top up, slot out, and slot forwards. So drop a bit of glue and into this, that's where the lower wing spire is going to go. Hence we have that slot there. So we'll just try and put a smidge of glue on there. Probably put, always put too much, no matter how hard I try. And that's going to go just in there. And the slot So it ends up just above the wheel pan and that will line up with that hole there where the wing will come out. So there you are, so that's that side in place. We'll do the other side now. And I've lost a piece, there it is. So it's slot out, fat side up, slot forward. It's going to go that way. The plan's not 100% clear at that point, but good enough. 
with a lot with studying it over the last hour or so. That I've determined that's how it's gonna go. So big big side up, slot forward, slot out. Again, just line that up with the bottom of the fuselage. certainly equal on both sides. Right, that's that. That's that little bundle there. It's coming along. So that was that stage there where we stuck them all together then fitted them on. And the next stage is more origami, where is it? I would get lost with more sort of origami. Yeah. So let's start with these things here. It's terrible working upside down. Sticking to these outside bits and then add a couple of little spaces to the back and on the top it will go in. It'll it'll come easy as I do it. So I've already cut the pieces out. These are the side pieces. These are the side pieces and they have a little flap just there which needs to be folded over in both cases one way or the other and that just adds a little step to it. I don't know if you can see that that just adds a little step to it make this sure the other one goes the other direction there the little steps in place oh backwards and... oh I see my camera's wrong ah oh, now I can do it super as long as we have one to one to one one to the other sort of thing it doesn't really matter which way round so if that goes, it's got to follow that shape there, that curve there, follows that curve there. So this one fits there. And the, equally the other side will need to fit there. I know it's all white on white, isn't it? So it's difficult to see. Let's have a little zoom in like that. So these are going to attach like that on top. Okay, let's put some glue on and do that. I think what I'm going to do is just place this on here and use my pen just to mark a little area because it's going to be easier Put glue on the uh, on the thicker part and lay the plastic on top of it. So we'll do it that way. So we just put that. Just give us a rough mark, so I know where I'm going to be putting the uh, glue. So. Just put some glue around there. Oh, it's blotching out. It's and spread it around nice and thinly. This glue works better if it's laid down fairly thin. A thick glue is joint is a is weaker. And that little ledge goes around there, so we will sort of make sure we got some there and there. Okay. This up and place that and put that into place. Wiggle it around a little bit to spread the glue and just make certain it's marked up in that little step. It's in the right place. 
Okay, and then again, we're going to be putting it aside the set. There's a lot, it's going to be a lot of this in. when you're dealing with glue, you can't use hot glue. So there's going to be a lot of times where you have to just put something aside to set. You can't rush this gluing too much. So there's those two sets, those two bits down. They, they'll be fine, they're, they're good. Part D8. Ooh, and part D7 or D9. D7 and D8, and you see when they stick together, that's that shape, same shape as that slot. So we just need a bit of glue on there, stick these two together. Yeah, it's probably too much glue, but it's difficult to do anything less. And we're just going to move that around a little bit. We've got the step going there. Now, since this goes straight into this piece, which is D5, I'm going to glue it in straight away, just put a bit of glue on, because the D5 will help hold it together. So, we'll just put a bit of glue here. Bit of glue that side, smidge on the edges, and we'll just push that into the slot. And it's not going in, of course. There we go. slotted in underneath. Don't know if you can see that. Difficult to see all this white on white. So that's that stage. These got to dry off. So again, smidgen of glue. Trying, really am trying to put just a little on this. Because once you spread it round, it's going to uh, it will spread throughout it. So. Right, so I'll just squish that around. Okay. So I've just been dry, dry fitting this part. I'll just come in a little bit. The camera's moved a little bit. There we go. Just been dry fitting this part, so that fits nicely now. So we're going to glue that into place. I'm going to use a little bit of tape just to hold it down into place. So a little bit of glue in there, a little bit of glue there, and then light. Glue there and down the side of this. Just making sure that all the contacting surfaces have glue on them. So let's slide that like that and bring this down. That way I'm spreading the glue onto every surface I can. That looks good. I'm going to use a little bit of paint, painter's tape, blue tape here. Hold that back bit down and also just to hold that bit level because it's important that that's flat. So, I don't know if you can see that. It's important that that ends up flat in there. Hence the little bit of tape I'm going to use there. Okay, give me that flat. Okay, that's that stage. And then finally, these stages. So it's these parts, and I've already checked the plastic bit that we stuck on goes inwards. And again, I'm gonna dry fit this to make sure it, it's all gonna work. 
seems to be okay. I've never worked with such tiny parts, so many tiny parts before. That's going to fit like that. And then on the other side, this is all forming to quite a nice strong nose to the plane. And that's important because that's where the uh, the motor's going to be basically. So that makes the front of the nose. And then we have a final piece here, which goes, well I can't put this in because I've got the painter's tape there. But once those are in place, that will go down there. Like that. And I think, oh yeah, the two little holes here. I don't know if you can see them, two little holes here. That's again magnets, so the holes have got to go inwards when we stick that on. So let's just stick the side piece on. So we're going to put some glue on this side, down here, along the side here, up this joint and along there. And the first piece goes in. Again, I might use a bit of blue painters, painters tape just to keep this into place. It's important everything stays in place. And, yeah. Oops! So much for keeping it in place, it actually pulled it off, out of place. And let's just check that. These align to the bottom of those. Oh, that's interesting. Mine does not align to the bottom. That lines to that, okay. These side pieces are supposed to line up with that. So how does that work? I can't see how that can align. I'm confused by that. This is why we, you know, you do all the dry fitting you can but you still end up with confusion sometimes. That is definitely showing at the bottom of that. And there's no way that can... Well, I don't know. Oh, it can do. That has to link. Link up with the bottom of that piece there. If everything's going to work. That's quite a strain on it, actually. just to hold that into place. Is it worth the risk of pulling it out of place? Yeah, let's just do it. So that's that side done. Sorry if I don't catch everything on the video, I'm trying my best. But it, you know, I'm having to concentrate on what I'm looking at rather than getting it in shot. And with that, putting this on, I'm going to, this, this is all I'm going to be doing tonight because it's now coming up on half past nine and since I work at, I have to get up at six-ish in the morning so I can start working time I'm going to be calling that a day and that's just held in there and that blue painter's tape's come off anyway. So that's not really doing anything, is it? Maybe if I used a longer piece, let's try that. And actually bridge to cross it. That might work better. Just to hold it all into place. I certainly don't want it shifting too much. So let's put a bit there. across there and just bring that down there just to help hold that all together okay this is where the radio is going to go and this is where the battery is going to go 
apparently. Approximately. Ooh, that's come, come apart of that side. More tape, more tape. This has got to hold strong for everything to work. It is a bit, it feels a bit like origami. Yeah, it's folding all these shapes and then sticking them all in. It's quite a complex thing. But there we go. This is where we'll leave it at the end, end of day one of build. And we'll see where we go to. We'll try and do some more tomorrow.